everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kayla Rundle, if you do not know me. And I am officially back from the track and the crown rally. <laughs> I went in the dry lake beds outside of Vegas and honed my vehicle a little bit. Insert clips here. Oh my. And it is completely trash to the point where the car almost feels weird driving, probably because the wheel balance is off because my wheels got wet after going into the mud and you'll be able to see here that it is caked in heavy, heavy dirt all around my wheels. The car is trash, all these decals might come off with the wash and you can see all the brake dust from the track day there. Uh, this car definitely needs help. I'm gonna be taking off the wheels because even the entire internals of the car is completely trash. And I can't really get to the suspension without taking off the wheels just because of how low the car is. So I'm gonna do a fun detail day today. This is a Kayla maintenance wash for sure. But I gotta do this ever so often. I took these off of the trunk. So you can see how dirty these are. I detail these every single time I do a detail, by the way. Just the dust got over everything. Let's have fun and get this thing all washed up. <laughs> Holy moly, those are on tight. So I always jack it up from this front cross member, which is directly underneath the motor. It's the easiest because the car's so low, it's always hard to find a good jacking up point. And I'm trying not to go underneath the car as much as possible. And I gotta get this thing pretty high off the ground because I have a longer travel with the new KW Club Sport 2s that I'm running on this car. And I'm gonna take this off before I wash the car, just so it's easier to foam all the suspension at once. But I'm gonna do the front and back separately so my car is just not floating on jack stands during the wash. All right, so I got the jack stands in place on the outside of the cross members, and then I'm leaving the jack in the center to be extra safe. Obviously don't forget to loosen your lug nuts before you jack it all the way up. Otherwise you're gonna have to get someone for help to press the brakes in the front, which is never fun. Hopefully these are loose enough. Oh my God, my suspension is trashed. Try not to drop your lug nuts because they dent up your wheel. And I'm so great at doing that. Boopity scoopity. Oh my God, are these bad? Oh my God. <laughs> and same with my inner fender. It needs help. Whew. And another wheel done. All right, so you can see, this is probably the dirtiest you have ever seen the Kayla Rundle Camaro and the fenders are just disgusting. The suspension's disgusting. Everything just needs a good wash. Look at all that caked mud in there, all the sand. Oh my God, disgusting.
drawing used to be my least favorite thing to do, but ever since I ceramic coated my car, it's definitely the easiest thing to do. <laughs> oh my god, I look like such a nerd at this mic, but it's... Guys, I need to breathe in this shirt. I'm dying. I'm going to leave the decals on for now because I've only, I haven't even had them on for like a full week and it took me like three days to install them. So I'll take those off like next weekend. I'm going to be a poser in the meantime and leave them on. These wheels are actually repulsively gross. I would never, ever, ever have my car this dirty, but I also got to have fun with my car and track it. Um, I believe all this red is more from the brake dust and then the rest of it is just dirt from when I went on the dry lake bed. You can see all the black stuff on the wheel that's just from my brake pads, from using it a ton while I was on the crown rally and tracking it. This just naturally happens to wheels. There's no way to really get around it if you use your wheels and your brakes the proper way and drive the crap out of it on the track. I'm gonna use Diamond Bright, which is a strong all-purpose cleaner. It should strip everything off these wheels and I wanna ceramic coat it with the G-Technic wheel armor and see how that protects it, which is more of a high temp ceramic coating so it'll last longer. And hopefully this kind of stuff won't stick on my wheels any longer. My wheels are dirty but these are actually sprayed in two different tones this is silver and the barrel's black so it's actually perfectly clean looks pretty good i'm gonna let it dry i am using di water so there's no watermarks that typically get left on it <laughs> This is something that I have actually done many, many times, but I'm gonna be ceramic coating my wheels because they've been going through a lot of abuse. I ceramic coated them like two years ago or more than that, almost three years ago. And I've used a lot, a lot of harsh chemicals on them, which is not what you're supposed to do. But of course, I'm not a rule follower. So I'm gonna be using the G-Technic C5 wheel armor which is a ceramic coating for your wheels. And the only difference really is from normal ceramic to wheel ceramic is the durability and it withstands higher temperatures. Let's open this up, see what it comes with. Tiny little applicators. This nice bottle of ceramic. Before you ceramic coat your wheels, you do want to spray it all with panel wipe. Panel wipe is basically like alcohol. Um, it's a uh, it degreases and preps your surface, so there's nothing left that you do not want on your wheel. It literally looks like alcohol. It gets rid of all the grease, the oil, any wax, brake dust, whatever you have left. And then I'm just going to use a normal microfiber to wipe it all off and clean. And of course, get the inner barrel as good, if not better, as the spokes. Also, my drink of choice for when working on cars is sparkly water um, because it's better for you than soda. And I feel like when you're working outside, you want like a flavor <laughs> in your mouth so you don't get bored. Um, it makes me pass time when I'm like constantly eating or chewing something. So flavored water is my perfect thing to drink and I get mine from Trader Joe's. No, I'm not sponsored by sparkly water, but one day I will be. Sorry, it actually takes a while to prep your service. We're not here to mess up. <laughs> and yes, I probably cut the video to be way shorter than it should be to show the longevity of how long this actually takes. Because if there's any dirt left on the wheel, you're definitely ceramic coating whatever it was, into your wheel forever. Oh, that looks so clean. 
I just went over the wheel and redid the panel wipe again because I found a few spots I missed. Uh, I was rolling the wheel around just to see what I was missing. All right, it says do half of the wheel at a time, which is actually quite a while. And I'm going to use gloves because it's very important to use gloves when you are using a coating just because of how strong the product is. And I absolutely go crazy off of rubber gloves. So I'm using these these brand new knittle gloves that I love and I have like 20 pairs of these and use them for everything. And I take the applicator pad and I'm gonna put quite a lot of the product on here and go after it. I'll start at one point of the wheel so I know where I'm working. And when I'm applying this ceramic, you basically want to make sure you're covering every single inch of it. Because if you miss spots, it can usually be noticeable. But when you do level it, as in like wipe off the mic wipe off the product off the wheel, that's usually when it, if you miss any spots, it'll kind of fill it in. And that's when you take your clean microfiber and you want to level the product, as in wipe it off. Usually you want to use a new microfiber just so it doesn't have any gross stuff in it that'll get stuck in the ceramic. And the flash time that actually takes quite a while. I've been using a lot of super professional grade ceramic coatings lately, so I'm so terrified of using it, but this gives you a lot of time to apply the product and then wipe it off once it flashes. Yeah, it looks, it looks so much better. And there's no reason to be scared of ceramics. But I do understand some people just can't, don't have the patience. And just like some people literally can't see the spots that, are, that they are doing. But all of that black light stuff of like, oh, you missed a spot, see where you missed. It's kind of BS. <laughs> There's no reason for it. Um, you can definitely see where you put the product and... There's no excuse of like having a white surface or a light surface or anything because I have a white car and that's all I do is put it on my white car 24 seven. And it's never really that bad. You can completely see what the ceramic is doing. And if you can't, it's probably not a good ceramic. When we were applying the ceramic coating on my paint, it just, it flashed so fast that I started freaking out. <laughs> I couldn't keep up with it, but this is, gives you quite a lot of time, which is super nice, especially if you guys are beginners at ceramic coating. Um, what I'm looking for, when I'm looking for it to flash, you can, when you apply it, it goes on almost like, it's like a full, even surface. Hopefully, if you would apply it right. Um, and then once it starts flashing, you'll kind of see like textures or little waves in the product or that it's kind of bunching together, like beading in a way. That means it's flashing. Sometimes people can see even a rainbow effect, but I don't really see a rainbow effect only in like, you know, certain products. <laughs> um, you don't usually don't look for a rainbow effect though, but this is extra shiny. I swear it's making my wheel shinier than what it was which is really nice. I don't know if I'm like just super fast at this or what. It's taking a while to flash though. And for the very, very last bit, I'm just gonna get the back of the spokes. I just finished ceramic coating the first wheel. It looks incredible it's shinier than before it looks amazing uh, you don't want to touch the finish after you ceramic coat it so I'm gonna set this aside while I work on the other one and then I'm gonna carefully place them back on the car without touching the spoke probably just get my shoes dirty and elevate it and so I can do the rear because I don't like jacking up the whole car at once so I'm just working to front to back Bye shoes.
God, these wheels are pretty now. It made it, like, more shiny putting that coating on it. Yeah, they actually look really good. Don't they? Uh, uh, take off the wheel and, like, cut. You're disgusting. And the rear is so bad. All this dirt is just absolutely embarrassing. And in the wheel, and I almost don't even want to show you how bad this is, but as you can see, it has a full layer of just dust and all that dust on the ground from doing the front. So I'm gonna do the same process as what I did in the front. I'm gonna fill it up. Probably gonna do Diamond Bright in the, which is like a degreaser in the foam gun this time since I'm not doing the paint. I'm just gonna do the undercarriage. So I want to do a very strong degreaser so it all drops out. Um, but I'm most of the time I'm gonna spend it just spraying it all down with water since it is this mud dust consistency. It should all fall off pretty fast. microfiber scrubby brush that gets in there real deep like. I love this. Well, it's so nice to have the Camaro finally clean again and the G-Technic products worked so well on getting this car clean. So I didn't do the interior yet, but stay tuned for that because I have so many videos on redoing my entire interior coming soon. But I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all have an amazing day or night, whatever, whatever time it is, wherever you're at. Love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>